Hey y'all, it's Callie and welcome back to another weekly reading vlog. This week is super busy for me. I'm graduating from high school on Thursday, so I've got some things to do in the mornings for the next three days for that, and then the real deal is Thursday night. But that means I also have family coming in tomorrow, starting tomorrow, and they will be here for the entire week. So I will maybe not get to update you guys as much as I usually do because I will have my aunt staying in my room with me just to kind of help my family members save money. So I don't know if or how much I'll be able to update, but I will try my hardest. I might try to include some vlog clips of like from my phone of things that I'm doing, but I just can't promise you guys anything, but I can promise you that I will probably try to read. The last week, at the beginning of the week, I listened to a lot of audiobooks and got a lot of reading done, but at the end of the week I was just not feeling it. Yesterday I read a total of 16 pages and that was like 30 minutes before I fell asleep. So speaking of that, the 16 pages I read were in Cry the Beloved Country by Alan Patton. I am now on page 92. I'm enjoying this, it's intriguing. I'm still not really sure what the like main plot is, but I am really enjoying the story and I'm really interested to see. I'm pretty sure it's just commentary about the way that black people were treated in South Africa before all of the revolution. This was written in 1940s, so it was still very prevalent. Nelson Mandela was not a thing yet at all in terms of like a big figure because that was all in the 90s, so I'm really intrigued to see what the rest of the story is going to be about. Then in The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak, I, am, I haven't read anything, still on page 154. I will probably get a few chances to read this because the next two days I have graduation practice, which sounds like a lot of sitting around and maybe not, maybe having my phone but not a physical book, which means I can read a lot of this. It will return the ebook to my library the night, Thursday night, I believe. Thursday night, Friday night, Friday night, yes. So I have until then to try to read as much on the ebook as possible, but if not, I do have this paper copy so I can just pick it back up wherever it leaves off. I find that I end up reading quite a bit physically at night once I've put my phone on to charge to just kind of get away from the screens. I find that I often end up reading the physical one instead. And then my audiobook is Along for the Ride by Sarah Dessen. I am on page 143. I listened to this in one day, so it shouldn't take me too terribly long to listen to the rest of it. I just need to prioritize it because yesterday I prioritized Netflix, which is not reading. So I'm hoping to get to this more. It's kind of cute, intriguing. I'm wondering where the story is going to go. I really like our main character and it's just a lot of fun. Hey y'all, it is Tuesday morning and I am in my car because the graduation craziness is starting. I didn't have a chance to film at home and I definitely wanted to make sure I updated you guys today. So there is graduation practice today, so fingers crossed I can get a lot of reading done. It might be The Book Thief, it might be Cry the Beloved Country, I'm not sure yet, but it's gonna be a lot of fun no matter what it is. I listened to so much audiobook yesterday in Along for the Ride. I am now on page 285, a big chunk of the way through, a little less than 100 pages left. I'm just super excited, it's gonna be so much fun, I'm just loving the story. In Cry the Beloved Country, I read a little bit. I visited my mom's classroom, and when her third graders had drop everything and read, I joined in and participated with them. I'm currently on page 108, and I am really enjoying it. The story is really interesting, and I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen next. Hey y'all, it is Wednesday morning, and I wanted to update you guys really quickly. I am back to a more vlog style because I put my tripod away while I have family in town, but I wanted to update you guys on the lot of reading I did yesterday. So I finished the audiobook for Along for the Ride by Sarah Dessen. I really loved it. It was just so cute and adorable and a little bit relatable. 
So I really enjoyed this one. I give it four out of five stars. In Cry the Beloved Country, I am on page 136. This book is really slow paced and not a lot is happening, which is why it's taking me so long to read it, but I'm really, really hoping to read a lot more soon. I just want to get this one finished so I can move on to other books. Then because I finished Along for the Ride, I have started A Conjuring of a Light by V.E. Schwab. I'm so excited. It's already really gripping and really exciting. I believe on I'm on page 18, which is not very far at all, but it's farther than I thought it would be. And then in the ebook for The Book Thief by Marcus Suzek, I'm on page 189. I was actually able to renew my loan, so I have 20 more days of reading this on an ebook, and that includes some travel where I'm not sure if I'll be able to bring any books at all or if I do, I could bring one or two. So I'm super excited to get into this one more. Hey y'all, it is Thursday afternoon and I am super busy today. Today is the day that I graduate, which is so exciting. I got a little bit of reading done yesterday in Cry the Beloved Country. I am on page 178. It's getting more interesting, but at the same time less interesting. I'm just kind of trudging my way through it. The writing style makes it a really slow read and I'm just tired of reading it. And then in A Conjuring of Light, I am on page 140. I'm really enjoying the story. I'm wondering where it's gonna go. And in The Book Thief, I'm on page 211. I'm just loving the story. It's just taking me a really long time to read it for some reason. I'm sorry, this is such a quick update, but I don't have a lot of time and I have got to start getting ready. Hey y'all, it is actually Monday morning. I just quickly wanted to wrap up this week's reading vlog. I'm sorry I didn't vlog a lot. It was just very busy, graduating and everything and then I had my graduation party yesterday which is why I never got a final update. I've had lots of family in town as well. It has been my worst reading week of the year and I read a total of one book and that was Along for the Ride by Sarah Dessen. I really enjoyed it. It was super cute and fluffy and I think I ended up giving it four out of five stars. Currently in A Conjuring of Light by Victoria Schwab. I am almost finished with it. I am on page 496. I'm so close. I have a little less than three hours left of the audiobook and I'm hoping to finish it today but it might be tomorrow. And then in Cry the Beloved Country I'm on page 210 got about 100 pages left. I try to at least read about 10 to 20 pages a night. When I have time, it's just not that exciting. Just trying to get through it before the end of the month at least. And yeah, it's just so boring. I really don't enjoy this at all. But I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna power through. It's gonna happen. So I'm sorry this week has been so disorganized, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video of my vlog for the week, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!